Hey, what's going on, guys? Dope Center 930 here with my last of the video I'm recording tonight. Hopefully, I can knock it out in two, three minutes because my battery is almost dead. But, anyways, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys my settings for printing with PLA on my DaVinci 1.0A. Um, I believe the 1.0A. Um, doesn't have anything too crazy different with the extruder. I do remember telling my buddy that um, he thought his wasn't compatible with PLA without like an upgrade, but um, like mine, I told him, oh, mine has a fan on the extruder. And he's like, oh, wow, you must, you know, yours must be upgraded. But I think his ended up having a fan on the extruder as well. So just check and see if you've got a little fan on the back of the extruder. Um, and if you do, then I can definitely say that this will work for you because it works for me and it's been totally great. Um, now, I'm using Repetier Hosts. I do have custom firmware, so if you're using XYZ stock, you know, firmware, stock software, I don't really remember how the software works or how to customize it, but if you are using Repetier, I have found the best settings and best tweaking and everything like that. For me, at least, I've had solid prints, like, for example, like, I'll show you, this is a print that I recently did, I don't know how, I can't see the back of the camera, but I mean, I've done, I've been printing out, I'm building a CNC machine, which I'll talk about in a video soon, uh, but I mean, I've been printing out tons on tons of parts. Um, for quite a while now with these settings using PLA and um, I mean it's been kick-ass like this this is the um, you know the AR lower I printed out recently too. I have tons of things and they're all just they're printing great basically my settings are extremely simple I put the bed level at zero so I don't use any temperature from the bed not necessary whatsoever didn't get any difference in terms of um, you know quality or curling like that everything's fine for the extruder, again, this is the stock extruder. I'm planning on probably upgrading soon, so that way I can use like nylon and Injaflex and whatnot. But for now, stock extruder, I'm using 195. 195 is the sweet spot. It doesn't burn it. Everything bonds extremely well. So 195 is what I'm using there. And in terms of the uh, bed, I don't use glue stick. I don't use. Um, I don't know what the hell else anyone else is using. Um, all I'm using is painter's tape. Blue painter's tape. I, I had the biggest problem with the bed. Like, I mean, things getting stuck too hard, almost breaking the machine trying to get things off. So when I found what worked for me, it was a miracle. And I thought I'd at least share it with you guys. Again, painter's tape, I lay it down in like four different strips, completely flush. You know, um, originally I was using rubbing alcohol on top of it to make it where it kind of stuck more, but the rubbing alcohol made it where I had to like pry the damn thing off. Now, they stick solid enough to where they're not moving from the extruder, but I can just grab them with my hand and slide them right off afterwards. Like they're just a little stuck, but no force is required or anything like that. So that is what I use. And the cool thing is now, I've used this same painter's tape that's on here right now for like the last 10 prints. It doesn't destroy it, it's just perfect. So anyways, I'll go ahead and like show a close up of my printer printing some PLA right now so you guys can see it and that'll really be it. If you got any other questions about printing PLA with your DaVinci, please feel free to ask me. Um, I did do a fan mod where I have two fans on the side window right here or the side wing and I have a switch wired into the board where I can turn it on and it'll blow wind across. I did that because it was supposed to help with my PLA prints, but it really didn't make much of a difference at all. So now I think that if I do use this for ABS in the future, I'll use it to like cool down the whole machine and the bed quicker, but it's completely unnecessary, in my opinion at least, with PLA. I, I saw in the picture on Thingiverse where I printed it, it showed that it made a huge difference in resolution. For me, I have not experienced that. So um, again, that's just my point of view. So anyways, let me go ahead and give you guys a little close up of it printing right now so you can see my painter's tape. There you are, let me see if I can even zoom. So I can zoom in a little for you guys, slowly. But yeah, there we go, I've got um, PLA printing right now. Um, again, it's just coming out so good. I use zero, um, 0 0.2 resolution. Um, the, the infill, obviously, that differentiates depending on what kind of piece I'm building. For the CNC machine, I'm following a tutorial slash kit slash guide, so it's at each 80% infill, which is what I'm using right now. Um, but yeah, the infill again is just going to basically depend on um, what it is you're building. And in terms of speed, let me check and see what I'm using for that. I am currently using 50% speed. So um, that's that's been the sweet spot for me. And for my slicer, um, originally I was using the slicer as the slicer, but now I'm using Cura Engine, um, which is great. I love it. I don't know why. I just have had better luck with it than slicer. Um, I don't know if they have Cura Engine for um, 
for Mac, but for Windows, I highly recommend Cura Engine if you're looking for a slicer. So, anyways, guys, that is all. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I have a lot of stuff planned. Like, it's crazy the amount of stuff I have planned. I just, like, haven't had chances to make videos on it all. So, you might see some kind of quicker videos like this where I just throw out my point and shoot. It's just simplicity for me, and you can still get the information because I haven't had a lot of time to, like, do all sorts of detailing and editing and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful. Um, and I will see you in my next video, Dope Center 930, and I'm out. Peace, guys.